What's going on, Prent Bam? It's uh, 11.04 a.m. on Tuesday. Uh, thanks for tuning in to The Print Life. Let's roll the credits. Yeah, I trimmed the thing. I'm not really sure why I did it. I'll probably get rid of the rest of it tonight. Uh, in other news, I got a new toy. Check it out. This, if you do video editing, this is like the old school decks I used to work on. You got the shuttle, you got all the different hotkeys here. It makes it to where you don't really need your keyboard. The big thing that helps is the shuttle though. Yeah, this is one of them days, Alex is sick. There was We slowed way the hell down this week, so Jesse's not here, so I'm just running around the shop. Uh, trying to think of stuff to do. Uh, I told you guys that I was going to do that ink comparison w versus the lava white. And I thought that I had ordered the lava. But the reason it never came in is because I never actually hit the checkout button. It's still sitting in my cart. I'll do an entirely new video with the lava versus the Fusion 180 versus Bright Cotton White versus Excalibur. And that way we can find a clear winner. Everybody wants to know. So I'm going to be the one to show you. But uh, I just want to make sure that we get that checked out. So let's go make sure that I did, in fact, order that lava white from Ryan It. Uh, what's the address for screenprinting.com again? Dude, see, I thought I ordered the shit. That's wrong. The ink is on the way. Probably won't have that comparison up till the week after next. But we'll get it done for you. I set out to do this, this 30 days of a video uploaded to YouTube every day of the week. Uh, I had higher hopes for it than what's happened. I was really shooting for maybe a thousand subs within that 30 days, but I think we hit like maybe 500. And the, every time I upload a video, the view count is going up. You know, and with that whole thing in mind, I really, I just, uh, I'm, I haven't made the final decision yet, but I'm strongly considering doing another 30 days of daily uploads. I haven't made the decision yet. It's the 26th. I don't even know how many more days I got in this month. But by the end of it, I'll have a decision. I'll, it's one of those things where I, you can feel it. Things are starting to catch on, so it's, it's good. But because my expectations weren't met, I'm kind of like, meh. It's kind of fun, too. So there's that. You know, especially because if I'm doing daily, I don't just have to do screen printing shit. And as much as I love that and as much as the channel is a screen printing channel, it's also just a my daily life channel. It's just that my daily life happens to be at a print shop. That's why it's titled as such. But I have never made or guaranteed or promised anybody that it would only be about, about screen printing. My whole thing with all this is when somebody in the comments, I, when I get this whole like, oh, this is supposed to be a screen printing channel. Why can't, why, why are you showing your daily life? Why, uh, why are you talking about shooting guns and working out? This is supposed to be a screen printing channel. Uh, I never signed a contract with you stating that I would only do screen printing shit. I mean, this, I can do whatever I want on this channel. You want to know why? I do the work, I do the labor, I create the video, I upload the video, I do the fucking channel. Don't owe you nothing. Keep that in mind next time you want to bitch at me, you son of a bitch. In other news, my Pellegrinos finally came in. I tried ordering these through Amazon. I don't know, six different times they would get popped, they would get damaged in transit. This is like my fifth time ordering them and, I, and I, they finally came in. Apparently, I mean, unbeknownst to me, sugar is lethal. Who'd have thunk it? So with that in mind, I'm trying to find uh, things that I can get addicted to that don't have sugar in them. It's proven to be a pain in the ass. There is one thing that I need to do today. I don't answer a lot of emails these days, but I do do all the uh, live screen printing quotes and shit like that. And I got a few of those that uh, I sent out the other day. I need to check on that and update some potential clients with some information. In unrelated email news, I'm flipping through my inbox and my printer, Jesse, has a cousin who has a YouTube channel called The Yang Empire. I'll link it in the description. Your boy is willing to hook me up with soundtracks for my videos. Young Empire, that's, that's fucking amazing. Let me show you guys his channel real quick. So yeah, man, just shoot me an email say, uh, saying that you are cool with me using your shit. You will not copyright strike me at any point as long as you're credited in the description of the video. I'm running through my emails right now and uh, the client 
is requesting to see a footprint of the of the of the damn press set up. This is always the case, and it's funny because when we're at the events, we're all working so hard that I I very rarely get enough time to step out and like get pictures of the freaking booth. Uh, but I do have some video from our last event in Las Vegas, so I'm gonna do a quick uh, promotional cut for potential clients just so they can kind of see the setup and, and how it how it would work. The next the next event we do, I'm going I'm gonna put a strong emphasis on just getting footage, like getting customer interviews and, and getting the way it goes down and getting the crowd and all that stuff. I need more of it. I can't believe it. Dude. This is weird as shit when the shop's not open on a Tuesday. What's there to say? What's there to say? I'm just taking me a little break from editing. Go get me something to drink. And it'll be back to business as usual. I was using the little clippers to. Uh huh. And they. You, see, got the, you? you see it all. All right. Old red. And it's very likely to dump rain all up. Nah. I can usually smell it when it's gonna rain in Phoenix. I don't think it'll rain. But I have been wrong before. Beat the bus, beat the bus. Let us eat thou hot dog. for another print fan book review. In today's review, we're gonna talk about the book Rebuilding the Brand by Clyde Fessler. So the book is about Harley Davidson and how they came back from bankruptcy after they were purchased by AMF in like whatever, the 70s or whatever. Uh, and how they kind of started to turn around around the 80s when they hired Clyde Fessler. Uh, and as much as this is a book about the history of Harley Davidson, what it, it really is a, a clinic on marketing. And it's a, it's a, it's almost a history lesson of, on marketing and brand management, and just how to take something from basically nothing and turn it into a f an Americana powerhouse. One of my favorite things is when he's on his way to Australia to take the brand over there. Uh, he, he's looking for merchandise printers, and he finds this ma and pop screen printer. Uh, just they just have to add a few things to their infrastructure, and they acquire. The, uh, the licensing to print Harley Davidson apparel. But, but yeah, go check it out, man. It's a good book. I liked it. I have nothing else going on right now. But in the next couple of hours, I'm going to be doing something really cool. That thing I'm going to be doing is editing vlogs until midnight. And while I'm editing those vlogs, I'll be drinking an alarming amount of beer. See how I just did that? I basically did three different views for uh, not even a full paragraph. I, and the thing is though, I, I still like doing that. I like doing that kind of stuff because I want to make a thing where when I'm like on my deathbed or I'm an old fucking man, I can look back and go like, oh wow, I remember that time and be proud of the things that I did. And part of being proud of it is not just babbling at a camera with one angle. For me to be proud of the things that I've done when I'm looking back, uh, there needs to be an artistic touch to every aspect of my life. I, even th from the things that I drink, to the things that I say, to the people I hang around or don't hang around, uh, it's, they're all brush strokes. And every brush stroke has to have intention. And being a person that lives a life of intention is the kind of person that I want to be. I'm not speaking for you, but that's how I want to go down. This is just a side note on, on that crap that I was just talking about because making daily videos about you as a person is a very interesting concept because even when you're not doing something, you have something to do. And that something to do is to edit, assemble, um, and work on the footage that you already have for that day. But it's like a double pain in the ass because while you're, you know you have to do all that, you also have to come up with and create content. It's, it's fucking good, dude. It's, it's so fun because it's such a fucking challenge. 
it's it's one thing to do that kind of vlog, but mainly this is the view and you just walk around. Blah, 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 blah. But when you have angles and you're trying to put out different levels of content and make it like visually and trying to get a message across, it's hard work, man. Who wins in a fight? Uh or uh? Let me know in the comments. It's Tuesday and I still haven't come up with the fine, the graphic that I'm gonna work on this week. It doesn't really matter. So I probably won't do the project till Thursday or Friday anyway. You know the routine, Prep fam. Take care of yourselves. Peace the motherfucker out.